vision basically deals with the data related with graphical related with graphics that is images videos now when we talk about images and videos there is another term which comes across that is called image processing we have already uh, some of us might have got the experience of uh, using the softwares like gimp and photoshop which are image processing software so there is one term image processing and there is another term computer vision so we have to basically understand how they are different and how they are how they look alike there is a very thin line of difference between the two but when we talk about image processing the input uh, in image process in the process of image processing what happens is from one end the input is an image and output is also an image so basically what happens in image processing some kind of alterations transformations are applied on the image and image is slightly different than the actual one which has been input and this is what image processing is now how the image which is output is different from the actual image it is it depends on the purpose like uh, you want to retouch the image so that it looks a little different uh, brighter for example you change the brightness of the image you change other qualities of the image you might convert into gray scale or you might change the size of the image or you may apply certain special effects on the image we call them filters uh, we might apply some filters on the images when we click the pictures with the camera with the mobile phone we see so many filters are there so we apply those effects on the image that part is called image processing where actually input is also an image and output is also an image but actually what happens in computer vision the purpose is completely different here the input to the system is an image or could be more than one images but the output is not an image usually uh, output is the data which describes that image so here what we are dealing with is still we are dealing with the data but data is actually converted the data is actually in the form of an image now computers do not perceive images like we do we human beings look at the image images and understand them suppose i am looking at a table so if i am looking at a table from a particular angle or from a particular distance or even if i after uh, looking at the table after after some time if i am shown the image or the photograph of that table i will still identify that that is the same table or that is the table exactly or if i am looking at the table from any angle from distance i can identify still that this is a table but with the computers with the machines the things are not that easy the things are not that instant the machines actually try to understand the images in a very different way first of all the machines look at the image as a two dimensional arrangement height and width and this two dimensional arrangement is in the form of pixels the picture element the smallest dot which is there in the image so that you have to explain to the students the rgb concept uh, that every dot is called a pixel there are several million thousands of millions of pixels which together make the image and you can think of a pixel as a dot and which is composed of basically three colors red green and blue that's called rgb model and various intensities of red green and blue actually give the color to that pixel and when those pixels put together they create an image for example uh, if the image of a young man is shown then the dense hair on the head those pixels intensity will be very less because those pixels will be looking darker uh, the dark color of the hair and if that person is uh, wearing a white shirt then all the pixels which are representing white shirt they will have the maximum intensity because maximum intensity of red green and blue combined together makes white color so this is how different intensities together make the color in the images now if you convert this image into black and white that is called gray scale the image information becomes three times lesser how 
when computers look at an image when they store the image uh, for example any electronic device computer or your digital camera when they store the image in the memory the image is split into three channels three you can visualize these three channels as transparent sheets one for each color red green blue so all the information all the uh, numeric all the numbers which are describing red color they are arranged in a separate channel similarly for uh, green and then blue and when computer has to display that image on the monitor or computer has to put out the image all these channels are combined together and the final image is rendered so this is how red green blue channels work in a digital device so there are now this is a third dimension the number of channels is the third dimension for an image the first two dimensions are the height and the width in which the pixels are arranged and when you split that image into three separate channels depending on their basic colors red green blue this is a third dimension the number of channels but when you convert the image into black and into a gray scale image there is only one channel so a gray scale image compared to a colored image occupies lesser size in the memory it is smaller in size so these are the basic things which you have to explain to the students first so that they are able to understand how computers look at the images now when computer takes an image it is converted every pixel information is converted into a numeric form so for a computer that image is actually <clears throat> a two dimension of certain numbers so like like we did in data domain there was there was there were always numbers date and text etc but for at the low level at computer level this all is numbers computers only love numbers so here all the images are converted into their numeric form and that numeric form is processed by the computer so this is how computer vision is different from image processing now another aspect is in computer vision what happens the computers take the image in its numeric form and then how it is different from image processing is the purpose the purpose of computer vision is uh, like uh, identifying the image is the very basic purpose so computer tries to identify whether this is an image of a person it is an image of an animal it is an image of a car so in a particular context the computer might be knowing what it is supposed to view what it is supposed to perceive then there could be another requirement to classify the image to identify what is there in the image and then identifying then putting it into a class for example identifying that in an image there is a car so it will identify that as a vehicle a car there could be another requirement to identify and match the image with somebody else's image or with some other kind of image like you might have seen in the advertisements in media that you know, the image is clicked by the person and then that image search happens so that is by identifying the image well so that is a basic boundary between image processing and computer vision then as i talked about uh, as i told you what what is the purpose behind computer vision what are the applications as i told you image identification and object identification so object identification is basically locating the object inside the image and identifying what this object actually is so uh, when we look into when we look into the computer vision techniques when we will explore them then we will be easily identifying what all computer vision applications are so if you are talking about uh, if you talk about image identification or object identification if you focus on these two things you can think of several image uh, this computer vision applications in different industries like identifying the face that's a very basic application in your mobile phone uh, face identification the device is locking by identifying your face so it is looking at the basic features of the face and the device identifies you that it is you that's very really very intelligent then uh, object uh, movement detection then there is uh, these are autonomous vehicles like driverless vehicles they all work on computer vision aspect 
there uh, the video is processed now video is split into several hundred frames and each frame is processed in such a way that the device can figure out whether this object has moved from this location to this location and that way the distance is calculated so this way computer vision is a very impressive application which can be used which can be seen in different industries education or medical or banking wherever uh, you can see this like identifying the documents identifying a particular check in the bank so these wherever you can think of identification of an image or identification of an object inside the image and that field computer vision can be applied in so this is uh, computer vision applications uh, like if you go into the books which are uh, given by us uh, the computer vision applications are given in much in detail so i will not elaborate on that much here moving on to the techniques of computer vision so when we talk about basic techniques of computer vision there are basically four techniques as i told you the image classification like computer should be able to tell whether this what is this particular image is about is this an image of an aeroplane or a car or a dog a cat a fruit a tree what is this then now that depends on the context uh, then localization localization means within the image like i told you object identification within the image identifying or locating the object in terms of pixels like in an image if a car is shown at what particular pixel location that car is present so that a machine should be able to tell then comes then we come to object detection object detection has uh, much more application where videos are involved live feed from the cameras so object can be detected uh, through its movement so as the object is moving it uh, the computer can tell that this object has moved from this point to this point or whether it has stopped or taken a turn or out of the vision all this can be tracked through object detection object detection it has another aspect where we count a particular type of object in an image now, now there could be multiple cars in a in an image object detection technique tells that how many cars or how many vehicles are there in an image and then uh, segmentation is another technique segmentation helps in identifying a particular part of the image and to make it distinguishable from other parts of the image how uh, the pixels of same quality the pixels of same features the pixels of same features what i mean is the color and their their position in the image those pixels are grouped together that is called segmentation so these basically four techniques actually work in computer vision field uh, classifying the entire image locating a particular object in an image counting similar type of objects or different types of objects in an image and grouping the similar the pixels of similar features together in an image uh, for example if there is a player holding a football now the computer the machine should be able to segment the football separately and the player separately so it should be able to identify that okay these pixels are representing football and these pixels are representing the entire player and rest of the things are background so this way a uh, segmentation technique is applied thank you once again all of you so much stay with us thank you all of you